Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be sharing with you all the books I want to read in December. So this is my final TBR of 2020 and I really wanted to do like a ridiculously ambitious TBR because there's just so many books that I would love to read before the year ends but I decided to be realistic. Now the first two books are books that I'm in the middle of. The first one is Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb. This is the third and final book in the Farseer trilogy. So the first book Assassin's Apprentice follows Fitz from when he's about six years old to I think about mid-teens. This book series is very court political focus. It's quite slow and very worldly rich. There's just lots of descriptions of the world and of the politics and of how the magic works. There's a couple of different kinds of magics in here and they're all to do with power of the mind and sort of reading other people's minds or reading animals' minds. What I was really liking about this book in particular was we all learned learning a lot more about the magic and how it works and sort of the historical context of it which I just love so I really want to get this done especially since I was loving it and it's a final book in a series so it'll be so cool to just finally finish this series because I've been meaning to for so long. The next book I really want to complete is Empire of Sand. I'm only about three or four chapters in this but I was really enjoying this. I believe this is classified as a fantasy romance. In here we follow a girl who is a princess or some sort of noble. She might not exactly be a princess but her father has remarried so her mother died but her mother was from a clan of people who have had very long-standing conflict with her father's family and it's all to do with her mother's family holding like rituals and I think they have magic of some sort and so she's sort of shunned a bit and a little bit outcasted amongst the people she lives with as in her father's people so at the beginning she gets caught doing a magic ritual that she's not supposed to and she is then married off that's all I know I'm like I said not far into it but I really would love to finish this before the end of the year I also am planning on reading The Ruin of Kings now I did read this book back in I think it was July but I didn't really take it in. It's a book that I think you need to read quite slowly because there are so many different POVs. There's even footnotes and it's different timelines and there was body swapping. It's a lot right? It really is a book that you have to piece together like a puzzle and concentrate on and I was in a really weird reading mood in like June July in a mood where I just couldn't really focus a whole lot so it was really far from the ideal time to read this sort of book so I've been meaning to give it a second chance ever since then and my friend Tammy from Tammy Tries to Read is planning on picking this up in December so we are going to buddy read this and I think it'll be really great to read along with her since I did struggle a little bit at the beginning and we can make sense of it together. I did really like a lot of elements I just really struggled to follow along with the story the first time I read it which is why I'm really keen to give it a second chance. We start off and we are following this guy called Kieran who is in jail and he starts retelling his story to his jailer and then like another's perspective is of his jailer and then we have like a different perspective of Kieran in a different timeline. And there was a lot of like really interesting elements like there's dragons, there's body swapping, there's like a mashup of different timelines which I know I'll love, I just need to make sense of. So I'm really looking forward to this and I can't wait to buddy read it with Tammy because I don't think we've done a buddy read. We've planned buddy reads but they've never worked out so <laughs> it's about time. I also plan to do another buddy read with Elena from Elena the Great and we are going to buddy read The City We Became by M.K. Jemison. I'm so excited for this. I read the fifth season a couple of months ago by M.K. Jemison. It is one of my favourite reads of the year. She is so creative with her world and just what she does and her writing and her characters. There's just so much meaning and intent behind every choice she does in her books and I just really appreciate it. So this book is an urban fantasy book and in this cities are or can become avatars of a sort so I believe the avatar city thing of New York is in danger and so we follow people trying to protect and I think also those they're having conflict with. It sounds so different and out there and I'm just so excited. I'm sure there's going to be so much to discuss with Elena so I think this is the perfect book to buddy read to be honest. And I think this is just going to be such a good book to end the year with. And then my final book that I plan to read in December is of course The Girl in the Tower by Catherine Arden. So I am a co-host 
post for the Winter Night Read Along, which is a read along created by my lovely friend Meg from Meg with Books. I'm so excited to read along and do this series with everyone. I've just started the first book, The Bear and the Nightingale, but this will be December's book, so it will be read then, and then the live show will be late December, early January. But if you are interested in participating, please go follow our Twitter. It is at Winter Night Along or something, I'll have it on the screen. And I will also link Meg's channel and her announcement video where she goes into depth about these books. Basically, these books are Russian folklore, fairy tale inspired. So if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, they sound like the perfect winter read. And in this, we follow a young girl called Vaskia who lives it's lives in this really cool world where there are like house spirits and all these like mythical forest creatures but her stepmother is trying to control her i'm not too far into the first book but there is a bit of the chosen one trope that i get the sense is going to happen and there's going to be lots of magic and the writing is just really really stunning so please join us if you can we would love to have you i can't wait to get to this one in particular because i think this book is meg's favorite from the trilogy so i'm really looking forward to it. So those are my December reading plans. I really tried to be as realistic as I possibly could. Was I realistic though? Because I really did choose the biggest books, didn't I? Anyway, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you're enjoying whatever you're currently reading and I hope to see you next time. Bye!